Come on over, come on over, come on over. I want to speak to you today about the TV card. Is this the best business credit card for bad credit? Let's find out. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or a tea or vodka, and let's roll. In today's conversation, I want to give you a brutally honest review of DV Card. Is this the best business credit card for bad credit? Is it legit? And uh, we've heard reports that say that uh, the credit limits oscillates between $5,000 and $5 million. Is this for real? Let's just get into it. Before we actually delve into TV cards, pros and cons, let's quickly review business credit cards in general. And when it comes to streamlining business expenses, a company credit card can save you time and money, no questions asked. Separating business spending from personal spending makes it a lot easier, believe me, a lot easier to reconcile accounts at the end of the month and get taxes right at the at the end of the year. So, and the thing here is that if you have a growing team, guess what? You want to consider using a platform like a DV to provide individual cards to every employee, thereby eliminating manual expense reports and cumbersome reimbursement processes. So there are differences between business credit cards and personal credit cards, not only in terms of application, the application process, in terms of the reporting, in terms of tax consequences. Obviously, personal expenses, not all personal expenses can be deducted on your tax returns, whereas most of your business uh, operating expenses can be deducted on your business tax returns. And you can qualify for a business credit card with bad credit. Don't worry about that. We have covered this uh, subject at length on uh, gazillions of, of videos. So you can definitely qualify for a business credit card with bad credit. You just have to be very strategic you have to be really focused there are different kinds of cars out there and you want to choose the cars that actually uh, that actually fits your particular spending patterns your particular financial situation and there are benefits of having a business credit card so aside from the obvious record keeping benefits of uh, separating corporate and personal spending having a business credit card has many rewards creating a credit line for business purchases is easier than qualifying for a loan and it also helps you to build your company credit score, right? What your your DNB, your Paydex, or your um, your Equifax or Experience score. Business credit cards also come with attractive perks and rewards like cashback or travel benefits. Okay, and uh, in today's conversation, I, I will be digging a lot deeper into Divi. Now, let's go into Divi right now. Okay, let me give you a synopsis of Divi card. The Divi card. DV has actually made waves in the fintech scene in the recent years thanks to its forward-thinking expense software. So besides bringing a fresh look at expense reports and budgeting, DV also does more than just help companies balance their budget. It offers what is effectively a corporate credit card that provides a unique rewards scheme and benefits package. So while the company doesn't really disclose much in the way of additional fees associated with uh, its card or eligibility requirements on the website, we have managed to obtain further details regarding the car's policies, and I will be talking about that in today's show. What are the pros and cons of DV? There are a lot, lot of stuff to love about the business credit card from DV. You have fast approval, so for businesses that for, for a business that qualifies, we are they are able to underwrite an adjustable credit line based on cash supply, meaning that you can start spending quickly. You have an easy online application, so from start to finish. Applying for credit with DV takes only six steps. And if the company needs anything extra, they will contact you directly. You can also talk to a person. So if you need assist, assistance or have questions, you can always contact the, the company directly. So this, this, it's a big advantage. Why? Because a lot of fintech companies, a lot of fintech credit card issuers, they have this sort of uh, obscurity around customer service where they just, wanna, they just want you to contact them through via email or read their FAQ or read uh, some kind of blog articles, DV is really different. They want you to actually 
talk to somebody to a live person and explain your situation you have they have multiple ways of underwriting so they actually uh, offer a more traditional means of underwriting so that you can find a credit line that fits your unique business situation and you're able to actually separate your business credit from your personal credit and we love the fact that Divi offers something called the scalable a scalable credit line in other words you you can access the credit that you need and as you grow Divi will grow with you you can build business credit so because they will report your payment behavior to all the right uh, companies to all the right people so you can build your business credit as you spend with Divi and they also have exclusive special offers so uh, through their corporate partners Divi provides a variety of rotating special offers giving you even more ways to get rewarded and they also have um, we love that they're flexible rewards so the reward program they have a rewards program that gives you flexible options for how fast you earn rewards and how you redeem them so this is the constellation of uh, advantages that you you can uh, imagine having when you sign up for a TV business credit card what are the cons there are actually two cons that we are able to find so the major drawback is that TV's site doesn't list interest rate fees so you may not know what you would pay until you get approved in other words the fee transparency is an issue and we reached out to DV to ask them and they're telling us that they, were, that, that they told us that they were working on it but right now it's not really transparent and uh, the the site also doesn't mention the credit score or other qualifications you need for approval so it's it's really obscure here so DV if you're listening please make an effort in that department in the transparency of the, the department I want to talk to you now about Divi card eligibility so as I said they don't disclose the type of business that are that is eligible to apply for their services or the size of the business you will first need to sign up for a demo to learn if your qualif if your company qualifies to use Divi Wall Street and public requirement guidelines aren't required for corporate credit cards hopefully DV will become a bit more transparent in the future and perhaps it'll give companies a better idea of whether they're all eligible or not without needing to reach out to DV first and uh, what are the DV cards rewards for spending and we love that the rewards program is fantastic really DV features a solid rewards system with a unique twist so depending on how your company spends DV's rewards scheme could see you uh, saving a fair bit of cash so you have flexible re rewards that are based on payment frequency so DV offers a unique re reward structure so what happens here is that when you pay off your statements more frequently you will earn rewards at a faster clip and the DV actually has a three categories that earn bonus points so you have restaurants hotels and recurring software subscriptions and the amount these categories earn will depend on your payoff schedule and you can earn uh, up to seven times rewards with weekly payments so if you set up to pay off your bill weekly you will receive this uh, earn rates for rewards so seven seven x points on restaurants 5x on hotels and 2x on recurring software subscriptions and 1.5x on everything else you can earn up to 4x rewards with semi-monthly payments and you can earn up to 2x rewards with monthly payments so it's all about so your uh, rewards um, accumulation scheme will depend on how fast and how frequently you pay uh, your balance off and uh, so this is something you need to know and you can also receive credits and discounts for signing up so beyond the base reward scheme DV has partnered with a slew of companies to give uh, customers credits and discounts for a variety of services and a few of DV's special offers include you have Google Ads you have $150 off Amazon Web Services $25,000 dollar credit in uh, I mean over a two-year period Costco you can receive $50 off after becoming a new member Verizon wireless $50 off a new phone and trip actions 5,000 off the first year um, that you sign up the fees waived and they're constantly adding new partners to their uh, to their program so you want to double check we don't want to see what they have for you I'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still uh, actually reviewing DV card, the DV credit card, and uh, I've already talked to you about the eligibility, the rewards for spending. Now let's talk about 
DB Card Reward Redemption. And this is a great program here also. There are several ways to redeem rewards earned through Divi. However, what we've seen in our analysis is that not all redemption options are made equal. So travel redemption, for example, can net you almost twice as much as some of the, the other options. So how do you, do you redeem rewards for travel? What we've seen here is that um, in our analysis, we've realized that the best way to use rewards earned on DV cars is for travel. According to a reward redemption estimate slider on the DV website, points are worth one cent for every point redeemed, making, making travel the most valuable redemption method. And uh, as I said earlier, DV has actually partnered with Trip Actions for its travel service. And besides being able to book travel, this service boasts management features that let you view your company's savings, spending, and travel trends. You may also be able to avoid paying a little extra, a little extra cash, that is, when using this portal. And DB claims that businesses save 34% on lodgings when booking through its service. You can actually cash out rewards for gift cards. So beyond travel, the next best redemption alternative is redeeming your points for gift cards. And Divi's redemption rate estimator puts a 0.51 cent value per point on gift card redemption. Okay, so this is something you have to think about if you are interested in that kind of uh, rewards. So what that means is that what? It means that gift card redemption, while if you really think about it, not a terrible option, falls quite short of the value you'd get from redeeming points for travel, right? 0 .50, 0.51 cents. That's really low. Uh, what about there are also additional redemption options through the Divi card? So straight cash in the form of a statement credit or cashback is also an option with the Divi credit card. However, this option is far from economical based on our analysis. According to Divi's rewards estimate tool, redeeming statement credit nets you a paltry 49, 0.49 cents for every point you redeem. That's really paltry. That's, that's really low, really paltry. And cashback is only marginally better, so the estimator pegs cashback as being worth 0.52 cents for every redeemed point. I want to talk to you now about the DV cards benefits. And uh, if you're interested, if you have bad credit and you are willing, you're thinking about bad credit or good credit or low credit or no credit, they will accept you. And there are some uh, benefits you want to think about. Because Divi offers a full expense and budgeting suite, it provides more than just a corporate credit card. So you are able to receive a number of benefits by setting your company up on the platform, many of them unique to Divi itself. So you have automatic expenses, budgeting tools, virtual cards, sending and receiving funds, bill pay, fe flexible credit line, credit reporting, security features, and other MasterCard benefits. Let's dig a little deeper into each of those uh, benefits. So automatic expenses. So Divid markets that you can say goodbye to expense reports thanks to its automatic expense reporting features. So besides, besides automatically collecting transaction details in real time, Divi also allows users to take pictures of receipts. What about budgeting tools? So to help manage your company's spending, Divi enables you to set budgets by team, project, event, or any other category of your choosing. Included with this budgeting tools is the option to set employee spending limit. This is pretty cool because this helps you potentially limit overspending. You can also view and edit your budgets in real time over the web and on Divi's mobile apps. What about virtual cards? Virtual cards basically enable you to, to generate a 16 digits credit card number that is tied to your Divi account. This numbers can then be used for payments across the internet. So because you will not be using your real credit card number, this numbers provide better security in, a, in case of a data breach or when used on a compromised website. You can also spend, uh, you can also actually uh, establish a spending limit on a per card basis so merchants cannot overcharge, as well as forced expiration dates and locking a number to a certain merchant. You can, uh, in terms of sending and receiving funds, you have a great benefit also because uh, Divi's sending and receiving features are like Venmo for your business. Through a Divi's interface, you'll be able to send and receive cash at the push of a button. Those in charge of budgets can also send recurring monthly payments to their team. And this way, the team can also have access to the funds every month they, they need it. Think about it. That's pretty cool. 
What about bill pay? Bill pay is another great uh, feature that we love when it comes to Divi. Through Divi, you'll be able to pay invoices and bills without the need for writing physical checks or buying expensive software, especially if you are a business, you don't have time for that. You really want to focus on making money and uh, generating sales, right? So the ability to focus on your business and uh, avoid uh, buying expensive software is pretty cool. With Divi, all you need is, uh, is inputting a vendor and add a payment. Divi will take care of everything else. Qualified customers may be eligible to have a flex limit available, which enables Divi to pay your vendor first and then pay uh, Divi on a later date. Paying with this plan does have a, a set fee, so between 0.9% and 1.9%, and can be repaid over one, two, or three months. And with Divi, you also have a flexible credit line. So Divi claims that your credit line will grow as your business grows. The company also uh, remarks that it makes it makes it very easy for businesses to access the credit needed regardless of the business's size. How Divi makes all this work, however, isn't really clear and we reached out to the company to actually have more information about this particular aspect of things and uh, we have not been, uh, they haven't contacted this back yet. What about credit reporting? So Divi reports your activity to the Small Business Financial Exchange, which is a non-profit trade association focused on gathering and protecting small business payment data in the United States. So while the SBFE is not a credit bureau itself, having your activity reported can still boost your business's credit score, right? Whether you, you report it to the SBFE or uh, DNB Dun & Bradstreet or Equifax and Experian, that's pretty cool. The, uh, the only thing is that um, DV does not report to DNB nor to Experian or Equifax. They only report to uh, the SBFE. One thing you have to keep in mind though, folks, that is that Improving your business credit score can be helpful when applying for loans or other sources of uh, credit down the line, right? So that's pretty cool. What about security features on Divi? There are several features that Divi likes to market, including meeting the payment card industry data security standard, multi-factor authentication for all administrators who can access sensitive company information, Android fingerprint scanning and Apple Touch Face ID support for the Divi mobile apps. And what are the other... Uh, MasterCard benefits that you might find on Divi. So Divi's card comes bundled with a few other standard MasterCard benefits, including car rental insurance, master assist medical services, and 24 hour support. Let's now talk about Divi card rates and fees. We, we just believe that uh, the card is uh, reasonably priced. Whether you are a small business with bad credit, no credit, low credit, or excellent credit. And uh, on the platform, Divi promises that uh, their, their um, system, their processes are completely free for companies and their employees. And while again, the lack of transparency is not really helping here because while Divi doesn't publicly reveal any additional fees that you may come across, we've, met, we've met, actually managed to get more information from the company on the matter. So there are no upfront fees. So you will not be charged any sort of upfront fees with Divi such as an annual fee or fees for additional employee cards. Rather, the company earns its money from interchange fees charged to merchants whenever someone makes a purchase on a Divi card. That means Divi could be a cheaper corporate card than a more traditional route like American Express. So uh, because American Express charges several hundred dollars annually for some of its corporate card. Foreign transaction fee. While it's true that Divi doesn't charge any upfront fees, if you are a frequent business traveler, you should know that Divi does charge foreign transaction fee. They do. Here are the fees you will face. So cross-border fees, 0.90% of total transaction volume when the account user is user-based, 0.20% when the account is Canada-based. Currency conversion fees, 0.20% of total transaction volume regardless of where the, where the account user is based. What about late payment fees? So late payments will incur a fee of 2.99% or $38, whichever is greater. No public disclosure of fees. So again, this is uh, the, when it comes to fees, when it comes to rates, when it comes to cost of borrowing with Divi, they really have to work on it and uh, they don't publicly disclose their foreign transaction fees or late payment fees on their website. This is really unfortunate because uh, we would prefer that the company publicly list those fees and because they're probably thinking you know this could be a competitive uh, edge for them to 
not reveal those uh, elements but yeah you just have to before you make your decision just know that you would have to contact dv talk to someone uh, pretty uh, extensively to learn more about the offer now i want to talk to you about uh, whether or not the dv card is great for you that's the big question right so you are probably sitting there thinking should i or should i not it depends divi is more than a more than, more than just a corporate credit card and it promises some great tools to help almost any company on the market whether the company has bad credit good credit low credit or excellent credit the company also boasts a rewards scheme that can save a fair bit of cash tools to help streamline expenses and if you really think about it a flexible credit line and if you combine this with uh, a total lack of interest charged to card users this card is fantastic the platform is appealing between its nifty reward scheme slick software solid plugins and unique benefits dv remains an excellent option for plenty of companies in our view while we wish dv were more transparent to uh, potential customers regarding its eligibility requirements the fact that the company was willing to disclose its additional fees to us and thereby to, thereby to you means that we are happy to give Divi's fintech services our recommendation and uh, consequently boost the company's uh, score, our score, to a higher, a higher level. And I will disclose our score a little more and explain to you why we chose the company, uh, we scored the company that much. So you might want to apply if you want a corporate card that incorporates services beyond a traditional credit card. If your company's spending, habit, uh, spending habits match DV's bonus categories in terms of the, the trifecta I mentioned earlier, restaurants, hotels, and software subscriptions, you might want to apply also if you need a corporate card without an annual fee. And you might want to look for a different card if you will not be able to take advantage of DV's uh, reward scheme. You don't need fancy software bundled in with your corporate card and you would prefer to work with a company that is more open about fees and eligibility. And one thing that's also very important in terms of choosing the DV card is uh, you need to think about your operating, your business model, your operating needs, but most importantly, the industry you're in. Some industries are just not suitable for the DV card, depending again on the reward scheme depending on the bonus categories, depending on the, their um, their payment system, the, the frequency, and so on and so forth. So this is a, a determination you have to make at the end based on your personal and business needs. All right, folks, this was it for today's conversation. So our score for the TV card is 9 over 10. And today I was uh, speaking to you, we believe that this company this card deserves a 9 over 10 after reviewing uh, everything from uh, the eligibility, the rewards for spending, the reward redemption scheme, the card benefits, the card rates and fees. We believe this is a 9 over 10. Thank you so much for your attention, folks. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. Marvelous.